Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gillingham Youth Academy Challenge on EAFC. It is Season 5 and we find ourselves in the Championship, which is absolutely excellent. Getting a promotion last season from League 1 as champions. Go and check out the last episode if you haven't seen it. Uh, we're going with the green screen today. Going to try it out, see what it's like. I think it's looking pretty decent, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Nottingham Forest have signed Gianluca Scamacca as Brennan Johnson has moved to Rene. I mean, some of the transfers are a little bit odd, aren't they? But there you go. Uh, talking of transfers, we have had none other than the ones that we are aware of already, which was Bailey moving for £20 million off to Sheffield United. So if we have a look then, these are the players that we have sold over this career mode. Amin is still the best player that we have sold. And interestingly, we come up against him in today's episode in the second game. Uh, Zan Novak up there at 80 as well, 80 rated. At no he is someone I definitely want to buy back from Napoli. Interestingly, Rossi is now 79 rated at Cambridge United, who are a league below us. Bailey, 78 at Sheffield United. Hutton for Watford at 77. Garcia at 76 at Swansea, who we play first in today's episode. Uh, Kumalo is there at Atletico Madrid. Larson at Bournemouth. Saki's there. Pan. Uh, Reed has gone to Sunderland. Osario at Plymouth. McGee at Bristol Rovers. Carey, Sanchez, Jones. All these people have had moves throughout their career, starting at Gillingham, and now they have moved on. There's also Cater at uh, Swansea as well, who was very, very good for us, but we no longer know his overall rating. So potentially, we could get our scouts just to renew everyone here, just so that we can keep up to date with how all these people are getting on. I do think that's a good idea. By the way, Bamba, who was absolutely shocking for us, now plays for Cagliari in Syria. So there you go. Um... That's quite the turn up for the books, isn't it? Because he was absolutely awful. I mean, he was so bad, he got legendary status for us in goal. But he was absolutely dreadful. But uh, yeah, nothing else really to talk about in terms of us. In terms of our staff, we do have people out and about. Turkey, England and China is what we are scouting at the moment. Any suggestions, please do get them in the chat down below. And we'll go from there. Pre-season is done and dusted. We are heading in to our first game of the championship season to take on Swansea, which is uh, very exciting. James still out with his cruciate anterior ligament injury. Uh, so he will be replaced by a slightly unfit Marquez. Uh, Radu and Blanco back from loans. More Arejo called up from the youth team as well. Hassan, obviously our backup goalkeeper still here. Uh, Lungo looking to challenge Rojas as the sort of third centre-back in the team. But it's a good squad. Um, I am excited about it. We could actually start Radu because Marquez is unfit. I just don't like having unfit players in the team. So let's put, uh, let's put Blanco on the bench just for an option. Although Coleman is shattered as well. So Grant can come in, returning from his anterior cruciate ligament injury, because we seem to be getting quite a lot of them. Uh, and then we'll put Arejo on the bench there. So starting Season 5 is McNeil, Schneider, Jovanovic, Murphy, Cusick, Rivero, Pinto and Rado, Radu in the middle, Mercado on the right, Oman up front and Grant at left wing. Let's get into the game and take on Swansea. So here we are for the championship opener for Gillingham back in the second highest division of English football at their brand new stadium completed over the summer to uh, just deal with the increased want of tickets to see this mighty Gillingham team play. Scott Lloyd's men have been on fire and now they get to take on the championship. And it's Dragutano man that kicks the new season off for Gillingham at this brand new stadium. We will see... How much we can see of it as uh, hopefully the goals fly in but let's see how Gilliam can start this season they've given it away straight away to Congreve who goes up to Ginelli Ginelli is uh, that's really good tracking back oh, that's a lovely ball in here's Cullen I am expecting this to be a lot more difficult than what we've had previously McNeil with a good safe pair of hands to start us underway which is absolutely lovely Oman's gonna go out wide Eduardo great overlapping run from Schneider in the middle. Good first touch to get round his man as well. As uh, Oman, he's wants, oh, I was hoping to start if start this campaign how he ended the last, which was winning player of the season in League One. Uh, and he had that award presented to him by Rivaldo, which was very strange. Why Rivaldo was presenting the uh, EFL League One player of the season award, I do not know. But Ginelli's in. There's a cutback. Rivera with a good challenge, not once but twice. 
It's what you love to see from our star player, to be honest. Schneider, ball through, couldn't get there. Og better did very well to intercept it. Abdule. Abdouale goes back out wide to Ogbeta, who seems to be getting involved quite a lot in the action here. That's going to be a poor pass and one that's easily intercepted. Schneider can bring this one away and well, Eduardo's giving him a good run. Oman was very slow to react there, but Eduardo has now got the striker, but he kicks, misses him out and goes to Radu. Went for the big powerful shot. Back to Rivero. Pinto, sensible pass, picks out Eduardo. Good turn. Just trying to create a bit of space again. There's Eduardo on the edge there. Uh, Rivero shoots and it's blocked. Swansea holding on. It's a very open game. Radu sprays a ball out to the right-hand side to find Eduardo. Beats his man really easily there, Eduardo. He's not got too many options in the box. He was going for the back post, but easy catch for Fisher. Half an hour gone. It's been an entertaining half an hour, but no goals as of yet. Key showing good pace down the right for Swansea. Wins his team a corner. And that is gonna, it's going to be interesting to see what Swansea do for the corner. First corner of the championship season. Uh, it goes to our opposition, but we have marshaled that very well as well. And Grant can bring this one away using a little bit of pace. He's actually done really well here, Grant. He needs a big season coming back from that injury. Oman into Rivero. Skips one out. Grant, oh, it's just got a foot on it from Key. <sighs> Otherwise, Radu would have been in. It would have been a dream start for the youngster. Called up due to fatigue and injuries. He's, uh, yeah, had a lone spell out on his back, but Ogbetta comes forward for Swansea up against Schneider, but Schneider does really well and just goes back to McNeil to keep the ball. Obviously, McNeil had that absolute shocker, didn't he, against, uh, well, who was it? Brighton in the Carabao Cup where we just took too long on the ball and uh, he got punished for it. But here he is, Radu, twisting and turning, trying to hold the ball up. Skips out Grant and goes into Cusick. Cusick cuts that one back. Oman tries to feed it through one more. I think we need to be a bit more selfish and get those shots off. And uh, Swansea now are going to have an opportunity to come forward. But Murphy does really well. Schneider, great overlapping run again. Schneider has Oman in there. Oman tries to turn. Could have passed that one. Gets his shot off. It's poor. Half time. Nil, nil here in Gillingham. And uh, it's been a frantic game. But yeah, look at the crowd packed in. You love to see it. No changes into the second half. You can imagine the subs are chomping at the bit to come on in this one. But uh, I think, you know, nil-nil isn't too bad. We are at home, so we may have to take a little bit of the attacking initiative to see if we can uh, create the difference in this game. But that's a poor pass from Ogbetta. And Oman can look to bring this one away. Our movement off the ball seems to be a little bit slack compared to what we're used to. Rivero, that's a good pass forward. But Grant couldn't quite get a toe on it. And Swansea regain possession. Oh, Rivero. Great challenge winning the ball. High up the pitch there. He's done well. Oh, again, just trying to force those passes. And they're just not getting through. As uh, I saw in the top left there. That was confirmation that Andre Onana has moved from Everton to Crystal Palace. So I'm going to assume that uh, Everton may be in the mud. What a ball. That is to the back post. And McNeil is alive to the low shot and saves it with his legs. Really, really good pass there. We're yet to see... Uh, from Swansea, the two ex-Gillingham players they have on their books. Uh, will they be getting an appearance? Not even sure if they're on the bench. And Cusack just robs that off the Swansea City man and beats his man really well as well. Oman comes forward and lays it off looking for Grant, who's been involved in quite a lot in this first game of the season. Oman holds it up. That's a good run from Radu. Radu, nice little turn. He's held it up. Has he taken too long? Oh, Pinto couldn't get the shot off. Key running down the right-hand side. He's got Cusick for company. Cusick defends it really well. I thought he was turned, but uh, he's actually got away from it well. Grant brings the ball forward. He doesn't seem to have lost any of his pace as part of that uh, cruciate ligament injury at all. And that's a good tackle, is it, from Janelli? It may be a free kick. I think he got the ball, so a corner is given, and Swansea blink first as Yates comes on to replace Janelli. Right, Rivero with the corner. Loops it high towards the penalty spot. It's headed back across. Schneider keeps it alive. Oman! Yes! It was in the right place at the right time. And Oman makes it 1-0 to Gillingham. It wasn't going to be long till he got his first goal. But Oman opens the account in the championship. It was really bad defending from the corner from Swansea. But Oman is there for the goal. And I need to do the upgrades and the updates to his kit that someone put in the comments. I will try and remember to do that. Great header down from Schneider. Oman had so much time. 
to just turn and poke that one past the keeper. Easy as you like. 1-0 Swansea. Scott Lloyd's delighted. And with that goal, Scott Lloyd uses the opportunity to make a double substitution. Papadopoulos coming on for Radu, which will see Grant sit behind the striker. And Dragovic coming on for Pinto in central midfield for some fresh legs. But that is the goal that Gillingham needed to settle those first day nerves. And uh, hopefully now take control of this match. Although we won the ball and then gave it straight back to Swansea. Oh, Ogbetter gets around his man reasonably. Cross in, but it's too close to McNeil. And there could be a chance for counter-attack here as Oman puts that one out wide. Papadopoulos' first involvement in the game is to release Cusick with a, a lovely through ball. And Cusick has beaten his man far too easily. Cusick still going the left back. Shoots. Good save from Fisher to touch it round the post. And Francisco Garcia is coming on for Quinn to face his former team. Francisco Garcia coming on for the team from Wales as the corner comes in from Dragovic. Oman is there. Oh, Abdullah just got a touch on it to take it away from the on-running Gillingham player. And uh, Schneider plays it off Yates for a throw-in. Grant pings it out to Cusick. Into Rivero. Couldn't quite get the shot off. Tackled well as uh, here it comes Swansea. Garcia. The first time Gillingham have seen this player for a good number of years. Into Cullen. Cullen pressured by Murphy. Dragovic takes over on the loose ball. Dragovic puts it into the path of Grant, but he couldn't quite get there. And you just feel like, oh, on a counter-attack, we could do well. Grant showing very good uh, athleticism and anticipation to intercept that with a, a slide tackle. Eduardo out to Rivero, but couldn't quite get the first touch right. Abudali comes forward. Cullen releases the striker. It's Yates. Yates is in. Murphy has to come over and track him. Ball in. Oh, it's reached Cullen. He's not got a good touch on it, though. The ball is bouncing around, and it's uh, Schneider there to take control. There's Grant. Oh, he's just looking a little bit slow. Is that injury catching up with him? Abdullah into Garcia. Shot from range. Oh, not bad from the Swansea player, the ex-Gillingham player, having a good effort. I think it was saved. And yes, Grant looking tired, coming off to be replaced by Arejo in central midfield or centre attacking midfield as the goalkeeper is up for Swansea. Abdullah puts this corner in, it's a header there and there's another header and Bracalo has scored it. It's 1-1 in the 89th minute. Both goals coming from corners, we did not defend that well at all. I think it was Schneider at the back post and his lack of height has cost us there and the Swansea fans high up in the stand... Oh, oh, just delighted with life. It's a corner that swung in at the front post. It's flicked on. Yeah, Schneider just got out jumped at the back post, and McNeil could do nothing about it. And it's 1 1 in the dying minutes. And that is absolute heartbreak for Gillingham. As uh, Schneider trying to make a amends for his error does get that one through, but Oman's touch lets him down. As uh, Yates comes forward, in it goes to Cullen. Murphy does put in a good tackle, but Cullen somehow comes away with the ball. And he's through! McNeil, massive save in the 94th minute. McNeil has kept that at 1-1. And it's another corner to Swansea. Are they going to be able to get another goal here? Keeper doesn't come up for this one. Eduardo wins the first header this time. And it's full time! 1-1, a goal right at the depth from Swansea. Gives this one one point to each team. So 1-1 one, one in the first game of the championship season. Absolutely nothing wrong with that, to be honest. I think we're going to ignore all these. The youth squad can wait. We have got some calls up from Latvia. Uh, some Latvians did get called up into the youth academy, but we'll probably only touch on them when they get called up. We do have an, honest, an offer for Ellis Coleman. I'm going to just ignore that for now. Um, because I don't think we need to sell anyone. That huge deal for... Um, Bailey has meant that our finances are looking great. Although a loan move for Gill could be interesting. Aston Villa, lots of Premier League teams coming in for our players. But unless the transfer bid is absolutely huge, I think I'm just going to ignore them. Because like 20 million was unignorable, wasn't it? If that's even a word. Now, do I want to send Hill on loan? Let's send him on loan for a year, see if they're happy with that. He's not going to get too much game time uh, with us at the moment. But yeah, next up, Bristol City taking on potentially Amin. Yeah, we're not definitely not doing anything to do with... Um, yes, they want to do... Oh, that's the one I just looked at, isn't it? We've just negotiated that one. We don't do anything with part exchange. Obviously, we're not allowed to bring part exchanges in to this. But Bristol City won their first game. They sit on three points 
in this one. Uh, we still have uh, James out injured. Marquez can come in for this game. Coleman still not back to complete full fitness. We'll start Papadopoulos in this one. Uh, so James off the bench. Radu can go on there. We'll bring Arehu back on. And Grant can have a rest for Hill, even though he might be going out on loan. So that's how we're going to line up. Is Amin playing in this game? Um... I wanted to have a look at their squad, didn't I? Which is a pre-match report. Amin is on the left-hand side, up against the team where it all started for him. Let's see how it goes. So, coming off the back of a 1-1 draw, there is Hassan Amin, 21-year-old left winger, who started his career at Gillingham to move on to Bristol City and is now one of the leading stars in the championship. But this game is Bristol City hosting Gillingham in the championship. Let's see how it goes. So, early doors. Murphy gives away... A free kick and it's actually injured the Bristol City player and it's bouncing around and I think they're just going to take the corner Bell with an injury will it see an early substitution for Bristol City uh, it's a header there and it has just hit to Jovanovic he didn't know too much about it so it will be a corner looks like Bristol City are going to keep the injured Bell on the pitch I'm in with the ball in oh my word he nearly got an assist against his former club straight away I mean just looks so so dangerous in this team, it's going to be the injured words. No, it's Amin to swing it in again, this time with his right foot. McNeil came to pick it up. There is Bell, the injured player for Bristol City. He's got into a bit of space. Jovanovic says, no chance, you shall not pass. And uh, Oman looks to break away. Marquez holds it up really well, really well, actually. And Eduardo is through, and Eduardo does have a lot of pace. The defender's not coming towards him. Eduardo, good save from Bayech in goal. Remains 1-0 and uh, Gillingham gets another corner in, the, well, our first corner in this one. Another corner this season. And obviously, we scored from our first corner of the season. And that's bouncing around and Murphy gets ahead on it. And it's a good save from Bayich again. Murphy reacting quickest. We just need to keep this pressure on and see what we can do. Cross comes in. Heading for Murphy again. And Bristol City do manage to win the second ball and clear it away. Murphy is there. It goes to... Rivero, Rivero, lovely feet, lovely feet from Rivero, it's a good block, Papadopoulos brings out a Cruyff turn to try and create some space and he's done really well, there's the cutback and Oman, his shot's blocked as well but Bristol City just cannot get out at the moment but a loose touch from Cusick will give him a little bit of respite and here come the team from Bristol, Amin, lovely ball to find Bell, he moves it on tonight, he was caught late again Bell, he's already got a little bit of a knock, Francois Goes down the line and finds Knight. Cross in. Oh, it's got past Jovanovic. Bell is in. It's a lovely finish into the bottom corner. And Jovanovic missed his header. And Bristol City make Gillingham punish. Punish? Is that even a, is that good English? I don't know. I'm just saying. Saying things when they come into my brain. But it's a lovely finish from Bell. Just that missed header from Jovanovic. As the cross got just there. He just couldn't get his head on it. And Bell bought it down well. And it's a lovely finish past McNeil. Soft and composed into the corner yeah really really well placed from bell mcneil couldn't react quick enough one nil bristol city schneider gives that overlapping run again but he's offside he needs to watch that he was in he was in if we had just released that pass a little bit quicker obviously bristol city are one of the favorites for the uh, championship title this year and we've stepped out again there's a shot good save from mcneil and uh Cusick can just clear his lines and pick out Papadopoulos, Rivero, who we need We need Rivero to get into the game more. Eduardo does use him again. Rivero, lovely spray of the play to pick out Papadopoulos, who's beaten his man. Papadopoulos, ball through. Oh, Dicky, They've just got that extra good, extra bit of quality defending that they can do. And it seems to make all the difference, to be honest, as Dicky has the ball again. Half an hour gone. Atkinson has been caught. Marquez back from injury. Marquez is through one-on-one. -on -one. Marquez! There we go. 1-1. One -one. He's had a shocker at the back, the Bristol City defender, and Marquez makes them punish. I've said it again. Terrible English. But there we go. I don't care. Marquez scores. We rob the defender. He's back in the team, Marquez. And, uh, well, he's playing because of James's injury. Uh, stepped out to, f to give Radu some game time in the last game. But that is what he can do. Marquez in one-on-one, -on -one, around about the penalty spot, and just slips it past Bayic to make it 1-1. Pinto picks up the ball with a little bit of space, just eases it off to Rivero. I don't think the uh, Argentinian really wanted that pass, to be honest, but uh, that's where it went. And here is Bell coming forwards. Murphy, great challenge 
from Murphy at the back. Had to get that one right. Could be of a risk of a yellow card if he had got it wrong. But uh, he did get that one right. Shadows playing a little bit of havoc here. It's making the kits all look very, very dark. I hope that doesn't ruin the viewing experience as Bell is in again. Francois with a bit of space. Papadopoulos tries to come back and defend, but that is easy for McNeil. Pinto just dinks one through and finds Eduardo. Heavy touch, but he's managed to keep it under control. Oman gets it onto his favoured left foot. Oman, he's hit the post. Oh, he's hit the post. So unlucky. Amazingly good footwork from the big striker. But Oman strikes it well enough. It hits the outside of the post and goes wide. And Scott Lloyd can't believe it. Oh, Oman has intercepted a very poor pass there. Little step over to create some space into Papadopoulos. Back to Oman. Feeds that one through. Marquez squares it. Pinto, what a save. But I think it's going to be a penalty for the late challenge. We always give these away, so it's good to have one go in our favour for once. What a save from Bayic. But James, the captain for Bristol City, very, very late. Referee gives the penalty. And this is Gilliam's chance to go ahead right on the stroke of half time. It's Dragutan Oman who is going to take this one. And he's up against Bayic. And Oman fires it bottom left. But what a save from Bayic. And the ball hasn't even gone out for a corner. Unbelievable. Half time. 1 1. So no changes. We were growing into that game. And we missed a penalty on the half time. Uh, on the stroke of half time, basically, which is very, very irritating as uh, Cusick manages to keep his footing. And hang on, we could be in straight away here. Papadopoulos, Oman, he's made up for the penalty miss straight from the half time kickoff. And that is what you need. When the chips are down, he could be low on confidence, but he comes up trumps and sticks it away. Not even a doubt in his mind when he's in one on one. Get it onto that left foot and curl it past the keeper. Bayic will be gutted. He's kept his team in it with a penalty save. And Papadopoulos slips it into Oman on that left foot. And an early shot beats the goalkeeper. 2-1 Gillingham. Are we going to be picking up our first three points of the season? I bloody hope so. Oman picks out Pinto. I don't know what's been said at half time here. But this Gillingham team looks completely different. And Papadopoulos is in. What a save from Bayic again in goal. Keeping Bristol City in this game. Keeping the score respectable at the moment. As uh, Matty James, the captain, is being brought off. Giving away the penalty that was ultimately missed. But you can see there, Bell needs to come off. He's got an injury. He's asking to be subbed. But uh, the Bristol City manager just keeping him on the pitch. As Oman was challenging for that one. It's going to fall here to Marquez. He's picked out. Rivero in plenty of space. Bayic, another fantastic save. Corner comes in from Pinto. A bit of a different delivery this time from the... Uh, from the attacking midfielder, but Pinto keeps it alive. Rivero again on the edge. Rivero, this time he scores on his favoured left foot. It's an absolute bullet of a finish from Rivero. He's been eyeing those up for quite some time. And here it is. Rivero absolutely leathers this one. 72 long shots he's got. We should shoot with him more. 98 miles an hour. I think it peaked at 111, but Rivero gets the goal. And that is 3-1 Gillingham. Surely that is game, set and match now. Oman out to Papadopoulos. Bristol City are just fading without a hope here. Oman is just easy to walk into the area. Bayic with a save and Pinto couldn't quite get on the rebound. Papadopoulos looks for Oman. It's a good touch on the ball, but I think Oman has won this one back. And Marquez sees some space out there. Eduardo in it goes. Oman! Oh, on the volley. Great save from Bayic again. He is keeping them in this game. I thought it was out of Oman's reach, but... He managed to do something with that loopy cross. And, uh, yeah, Bristol City are just... I mean, questions have got to be asked of the Bristol City manager. They've kept Bell on up front. I know he's scored, but he's clearly in pain. Whenever these the ball's near him, but he's not on it, he's just sort of hobbling around, holding his arm. And uh, they're keeping him on. Marquez goes long with this one, trying to find Omar. And can't quite get there. That's a good header, and Papadopoulos wings it back for Gillingham well. Schneider, good switch of play to find Papadopoulos. First time pass into Rivero. There's Marquez. Good save, Bayic. It's straight at him. But uh, strong hands from the goalkeeper from a snapshot from Marquez as it looks like Gillingham are just getting some substitutions ready to have some fresh legs in this one. 3-1 up. They can afford to uh, make changes all across the pitch as uh, Bristol City come forward again. Oh, Francois has done very very well there and he's still coming forward Murphy's there oh lunges in doesn't get the ball I was trying to put it out for a throw but it will be a yellow card for Alexandra Murphy with 10 minutes to go 
So a whole host of substitutions there. Noman, Eduardo, Pinto, um, all leaving the pitch. And left-back Cusick as well, if I remember rightly, for Hill, who has got a rumoured loan move coming up. Although Bristol City is still bouncing around. McNeil with a good punch. Uh, Zhao on for Oman, giving him his first, first minutes of the season. See what he can do with uh, 10 minutes to go. He'll be wanting to break into the first team. Oh, Bell's done really well there. In it goes. Good block from Murphy. And uh, Schneider can look to build up from the back with Arejo. And it goes to Marquez and Zhao on that movement. He wants to show Scott Lloyd what he can do up front. He wants to show that he can be the replacement for Oman. And Zhao scores. Not the most convincing of finishes. But it's 4-1 Gillingham. And this is quite the comprehensive win. Like, I was expecting us to struggle against Bristol City, but we've come up against them. It's 4-1, and Zhao is just the freedom of Bristol. His finish really wasn't very good. Bayich can be a bit unlucky, but uh, the keeper didn't keep it out, and it is 4-1. And with Zhao's first involvement in the game, he gets on the score sheet. So as the time ticks down, Amin is trying to force his team into a position where they can find a consolation goal, but Murphy does really, really well. It's not been a good return for Amin against his... Former club where he came through the youth team and uh, just hasn't really had the game. He started brightly, but then hasn't really grown into it. And it's died off of his team. Has conceded four after they scored the first goal. Uh, I was a little bit worried. Here's Palmer Holden coming in. He cuts that one back to Knight. Knight has got an option at right back, but goes back to Palmer Holden. Well, that's a good block. Rivero just holds the ball up and allows Papadopoulos to take over. But it doesn't matter. 4-1 Gillingham. A great start. To the championship season four points from two games is superb scott lloyd loving life as gillingham manager at the moment and yeah they kept bell on even though he scored he had a big injury and they kept him on for the whole game the gillingham faithful will go home happy tonight so a good start to the season with four points sees us sit in second place on goal difference with plus three watford fulham and leicester sit above us is this good start what we needed to see if we can push for that playoff spot or even a promotion spot to the Premier League but look at the teams that are down here Leicester, Fulham, Watford, Sunderland, Luton, Southampton, Wigan, Bristol City, um, Ipswich, Middlesbrough, Swansea, West Brom, Burnley down here, Stoke it's going to be very very tough there are some good teams down here but let's see how we get on we do have the Carabao Cup coming up next so we'll uh, we'll avoid that one and do that off camera for sure and uh, let's have a look at the calendar so we have the Carabao Cup then we have Coventry uh, Huddersfield Luton and Bolton to see out the rest of the month at the end of this month we have Wigan and Preston I don't think either of them are spectacularly good fixtures we do have Stoke and Barnsley so I guess we will let's come back um, at the end of September, or the middle and end of September, and take on Wigan and Preston. I think that's when we will be back. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. What can we improve? Who should we look to sign back to the club? Or should we just let them carry on growing in other leagues and see how they develop? Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.